This isn't a quick assessment, right? Maybe this committee has been working on this for about, what, a year? They've been working on it for a while, and Huawei has been working on world dominance for a long time. I mean, this is a company that really grew as the Chinese telecommunications market grew, as a, as a local provider of telecommunications gear. But it has become some of the best gear in the world, and it's worldwide. So the, as they grew this China business, and then it was an Asia-Pacific business, now it's worldwide. Take a look at the revenues for this company and the revenue split between what they do in China and what they do in the overseas. Overseas, the company is doing 68% of its business. Uh, so they sell a lot of gear all over the world uh, and billions of dollars at that. And, if, when you, and it's not just networking equipment gear and it's not just phones. It's a combination of things. Let me take a look at the breakdown of sort of the types of gear that they sell so you can get an idea of kind of how uh, uh, ubiquitous this is in the uh, telecommunications business. Yes, 74% of the business is networking. But also, you've got an enterprise business and a, and a and consumer business uh, that are sizable. Consumer business principally being phones, the enterprise business, routers and such, uh, of a non-telecommunications nat nature are much smaller. But this is a giant networking company and one of the world's largest. So if Huawei gets the boot from the United States, who's going to benefit? Sprint? Verizon? Well, no, those would be the, the customers of Huawei, the people who would buy that kind of gear. If anything, their prices might end up going up because Huawei's been a driver of lowering prices because they operate with very low margins in the business. But if you look at the competitors of this business, you see companies like Ericsson, a dominant company uh, in the networking equipment uh, communications business. Alcatel, $20 billion in revenues, Huawei at 23 and Nokia and, and uh, Cisco sort of rounding out the top five of providers there. So, you know, it's interesting that Alcatel's got all that big business and a market share, a market cap of about a quarter of that. But these are uh, very big competitors they're up against. And as I pointed out earlier, they're all over the world. So some potential winners from this in the United States. Yeah, I mean, well, you can see those other companies. And I should also show you in terms of market share how those, com those guys break down. You show you just in raw dollars. But in terms of market share, again, Ericsson, 30% of the market. Alcatel Lucent was 17% of the market, Huawei at 19%. So uh, there, there are different measurements from different uh, companies, but what we fundamentally see here is that this company is one of the dominant players in the entire networking business. It's not as easy as just sort of shutting off their business in the U.S. and taking them out of the network, the, the global telecommunications infrastructure. They're in there in a big way.